What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm Sim News, baby. Hashtag Farm Sim News. Today, we have 19 PC mods in testing. We've got 29 console mods in testing. All those 11 mods were released today. We've got updates on the whereabouts of Sandy Bay. The new DLC will be here in exactly two weeks. Black Sheep Modding have added four new models to the wood chipper pack. Plus, Lancy Boy is hard at work on Stone Valley for consoles. Let's check it out. In testing for PC, we have the Bama U473-2, Bosini B280, Bosini B350, Extended Driving, Fire Extinguisher, Fuel Store, Rower's Farm, Hay Cutter Dolly, Horse Slurry Tender, Hose Tray, Johnston Brothers Modular Trailer, Liquid Silo, Lizard N235, Seasons Geo Central Europe Simplified, Seasons Geo Oklahoma, Seasons Geo Oxfordshire, Seasons Geo USA Simplified, The Old Farm Countryside, and Unia Gruzada's Pack. In testing for console, we have the Agco NG1100, Agrimass AP30, Brimmer FP Pack, Free Refilled Commander 28, Brochard EV2270, Greater Lake, Joyce Farm 7250 TTV, Front Cultivator, Grain Storages Pack, John Deere 3765, Cougarling Trio 300M, Colonia 1990, Crampy Bandit 750, Coon Primer 3570, La Cornella, Liz Lizard 3406, Lizard Adapter 5R, Lizard Modular Trailer, Man 6x6 Pack, Mobile Fuel Station, Ranch Axis 50.2, Sapphire MES 400, Silage Fork, Skid Steer Loaders 711 Pack, Straumann Verifitas CFS 5201DO, Wash Station, Workshop Garage, Zader 12045-16145 Pack, and the Zunehammer TS 10000KE. With all that being said, we still have 102 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is down to three work days. Today, Giants released 11 new and updated mods to the in-game mod hub. New for all platforms, we have the John Deere 3765, Coon Primer 3570, Seasons Geo South Saskatchewan, Seasons Geo Okanogan Valley, and Seasons Geo Nordland Sweden. Updates for all platforms include the Zader 12045-16145 pack and Crater Lake. New for PC and Mac include Empty Pallets production and the Unier Rack. 112. And finally, updates for PC and Mac include the Duchessen Trailer 16T and Small Sawmill. I have already made a video showing off and reviewing the new mods and going over the changelog in the updated mods, and you can find that video linked below. You may have noticed that Sandy Bay was not on the testing list today. That is because it had failed its first round of testing. I say around because maps often do not pass the first few times. Oxia said that it failed due to three textures being in the wrong format. He has fixed them and will be sending it back to Giants as soon as possible. Assuming he's able to get it uploaded to them today, we can see this back in testing as early as Friday. We are now two weeks exactly from the release of the next DLC for Farming Simulator 19, the Straw Harvest add-on by Creative Mesh, which will be available for free on Tuesday, April 7th, 2020. You'll be able to download the DLC from the in-game mod hub just like any other mod, and it will not cost you anything. The Straw Harvest add-on will be available on all platforms, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and Mac, and will introduce 15 new pieces of equipment and placeables, as well as the introduction of a new crop, pellets. Create pellets from straw and hay to sell at a brand new selling point, which is also included in the DLC. Once it is released, I'll be showing off in detail everything included, plus how to use it, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Black Sheep Modding again have heard your calls and requests and have added protection sides to the Wood Chipper Lizard Trex 900 which is a hook lift supported wood chipper that they announced a few days ago. They have added four new models to the range, and the mod is currently being tested by the Black Sheep Modding testing team. And lastly, today, Lancy Boy Stone Valley is coming along very nicely. He's hard at work on the 2X version, which will be a rebuild version of the 4X model, which was a PC-only map. This new version will be available on all platforms, including PC, once it is released on ModHub. This will be the perfect map for those of you that like Stone Valley, but maybe the 4X version is just a little too big. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss a farm some news or daily farming simulator video here on the channel. Unfortunately, YouTube has changed quite a few things when it comes to live streaming, and I don't actually know how to live stream with the new stuff. So there will be no live stream today either, just like yesterday. I'm going to get everything figured out. Hopefully, we're going to be back tomorrow. Uh, if you know how to do it, send me a message on Facebook. I don't know how to do it. Link below. All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.
I am officially YouTube illiterate.